up guys it's Tubi here back with another lesson video today it's been a while since I've done just a good old-fashioned guitar lesson video sorry I've been a little bit busy working on my fucking bicep Oh. I've been working out a lot of hollow bash and stuff. My band, go check it out. I saw my biggest band in the Chicago land area. Bass is the Beatles. Greatest rock and roll band since the Beatles. I've been working on the greatest rock and roll band since the Beatles. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys just how to take simple open chords, a simple open chord progression, and make it sound like, um, good as fuck. Now, some people think that open chords are, uh, not worth it. And to that, I just have to disagree. And guys, let me tell you, this is completely in your wheelhouse. You don't even have to learn anything new. You don't even have to learn any new chords. You just stick with what you already know, and we're just gonna... to make it a little bit better. So first off, I'm just gonna show you a simple chord progression, and then I'll show you what I personally would do to add some spice to it. than it is but at the end of the day I'm actually just, just playing open chords in a, just a little bit different way and I'm adding a couple of things to it. Bro are you really not about to riff that shit up bro because you need to be riffing up your open chords. First the first chord change is from a C to an F but instead of just playing a C and an F chord really what we're trying to do is just find stuff in between to connect the chords to together so they can make sweet love to each other beneath the moonlight. So one method to do this is kind of playing around with the root notes of the chords and kind of walking around, almost kind of like making your own bass line. So I play the root note and then I hammer on with my middle finger on the next note. the next chord and then do the hammer on again now one one thing here i think we're thinking outside, thinking outside of the box. the box the f root note is actually here but you could also play the octave of it if you just want to get creative if you just want to go around the fretboard a little bit i know this is the f chord but i don't want to play it like that i'm gonna i'm gonna make it my own little f chord i'm gonna play it like this i'm only gonna play the top four strings of it you know technically but we don't need to know that it's a different chord we can just play it either way it's free to play and then i go back down to the c chord after that but then i'm doing kind of a rhythmic thing and i'm hitting the bass note twice we're just putting more we're just inserting our own feel into it guys we're just inserting our own feel into it. Do you see what I'm saying though? Rhythm is a whole other dimension that you can play around with. Guys, when you're writing chord progressions, what I need you to be doing is I need you to be putting your heart into it, okay? I don't even fucking want to take it. It's the guitar. It's for the guitar now, okay? Do you understand? Some vibe, bitch. A lot of times people think it's all about you know, shredding as fast as humanly possible. 
jerking off, basically jerking off their guitar. That's not actually what makes you a good guitarist. It's not the technical stuff, it's the putting your putting your pussy into it a little bit. And that's what's gonna get you laid, guys, also. I'm just trying to help you guys out. Next part of the chord progression. Lately, I've been thinking. D minor, simple D minor, open chord. We all know and love it. D minor, D minor. Now that just sounds like I'm playing like a, that just sounds like I'm playing a dirty little lick right there, right? We just made it our own little lick, guys. Picking out, hand picking out, hand selecting the root note. And then, pulling off into notes that sound good, and it's just sounding way more better. And then I'm gonna go into a F chord again. Oh, but this time I'm gonna hit that, hit the low octave of the F. This is a variance thing. Oh, we're adding variance here. The first time I go around from C to F, I do the higher octave of the F. But now I want to add another variance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna do the lower one. Pick select that root note. And then I'm gonna do another hammer on that I've been doing this whole time because I love doing the hammer rounds and it's an easy way to add the spice to the song. Even just in the way, you can have variance in the way you hammer on. I could have hammer on like, or I could hammer on like, like a little more attack to it. A little more attack to it, it says it. It says something different. It has a little bit of a different feel and vibe than like. Versus if I were to be a little more gentle with it, a little slower. Throughout the song, throughout the chord progression, you could be like, yeah, so like at, at during the during the intro, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna really hammer on hard, you know, kick the doors open, so one might say. I might ha want some variance, and then in the verses, I'm gonna hammer on in a different way. You get one, you get one. Anyways, where was I? I was back on the F chord. And then I go to A minor. Pulling off, back to the F chord. And then maybe, if you want, you know, pinky. Pinky that shit up, yo. He's just like adding a little vibrato. You can even add vibrato to your, your chords. You know, you're just like, I don't know what's going on, but it's happening. Anyways, at the end, it might sound a little more something like a That's something I did with my own personal song I wrote. But now to demonstrate this in action, I'm just gonna take a simple chord progression and do exactly this and prove to you guys that you in fact can fart this shit out of your ass. So yeah, let's just take a very simple chord progression that everyone knows and loves and then let's add a little, let's riff that shit up, let's add some spice to it, let's make it sound a little more complicated than it is. Cause really that's what it's life is about. A G, A minor, C, D. Four chords that we all know and love. Four chords. Who doesn't love G, A minor, C, and D? I don't know a single person. Yeah, you could strum it. And yeah, maybe you would. Maybe there is a part in the, in the song you're writing that's like, yeah, strumming it 
Yeah, maybe you want to strum it during the chorus. First thing I could do is just walk around, walk around with the root note. So we got a G, an A minor, a C, and then a D. If we're just picking out the root notes, I could just add some other root notes in between those, those chords. And then add the chords on that. It's gonna be awesome. Even like, we're not just strumming the whole chord. We could just, we could just like, we could just do a little, we could just pick out certain parts of the chord we wanna play. This G chord I don't wanna play. I wanna play just the, just the top two strings. Oh, you could do that. I didn't know you could do that. Maybe I wanna, maybe I wanna pull off into the next one. And even like, oh, I'm strumming the chord. I'm not strumming it right on the the dot. I'm playing it a little delayed now. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. and just play it in a different way. I could just arpeggiate the whole thing. That's one thing. Could be like, I'm gonna mute some of it sometimes when I want like a... With these new ideas, the possibilities are limitless. One of the main things about guitar, guys, is putting your heart into it putting a feel into it. That's what we gotta do, all right? Oh, I'm gonna walk up to it, why not? Mama, that's my guy. Jesus cherish, Jesus bad. She's the only reason why. Think of the think I'm not. But anyways, guys, I hope that this can be helpful to some people or give some people some ideas or inspiration and also smash that like button hit subscribe and most importantly stream hollow bastion on streaming services thank you so much for watching and i'll see you